All right, I'm here with Michael at the uh, 2013 Consumer Electronics Show, and he's going to show us off the big star of this year's show. It was the big star of last year's show, but this year we got something new. It's the Hopper with Sling. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, so the Hopper with Sling, uh, very similar to the Hopper that you guys are used to, but a little different chipset. The Broadcom chip is improved twice as fast as the original Hopper. Um, so, you know, when you look at the form factor, it's very similar to the original Hopper, right? But you'll see on the bezel the Hopper with Sling logo. And with this comes a lot of software enhancements, a lot of improved functionality and features, uh, including Dish Anywhere. So I'll walk you through the software a little bit. So, you know, if I go through my menu, we have uh, What's Hot, which some of you guys are familiar with. But there's a great new feature that our customers love. So you go into What's Hot and I can see what's trending uh, in the Dish population, right? So I can go and I can choose my local market or I can even choose the national market and see what everyone else is watching in the population. So I can see that Sports Center, it's the top trending show and I can click tune directly to that channel and I can also set recordings for things in the future uh, if I want to do that. But if I go into my guide here, something uh, that's new is the Hopper Transfers application and essentially what that allows you to do is to watch content on your iPad or mobile device without an internet connection, right? So no longer do you need that internet connection to watch that TV on the go. Now I can actually transfer the content from my DVR to that mobile application and watch it on my iPad, which is a really great feature. And I understand that there's no additional equipment required, like DirecTV to have a Nomad box to require to transfer your DVR recordings to the iPad. This, you just, you just set it up and go. There's no extra. Equipment. Exactly. No extra equipment. That's why the Hopper with Sling is great. All that technology is already built in. I don't need to sling it after. I'm not paying any extra fees. It's all free on the set-top box side, but also on the mobile side. So if I go into something in the future here, let's say Friends, and I click the drop down where I normally set a recording, I now get this option to prepare for mobile. So I can click this prepare for mobile option and it'll record it, plus it'll prepare it for me. So normally it takes a half hour to prepare that for friends. It'll automatically prepare it for me once I click this. And then now I can go to my iPad and it only takes five to 10 minutes to download that content and to be able to watch it on the go. So basically what it's doing when you select that is it's, it's converting it to a usable format by the iPad. Exactly, exactly. It's kind of similar to what we do today with live content with the Sling technology so that I can send it over IP. Now I can actually do that to friends so I can actually view it on my iPad without an internet connection. That's great for a long plane ride over from Connecticut to CES. That would be great for next year. Exactly. And the quality is unbelievable. You guys will really like it. I mean, you can't tell that it's not on my TV, on my mobile device, it's flawless. Now I understand another new feature, or, or I guess the heart of the unit, is a brand new CPU. Can you tell us more about it and why it's so special? Yeah, so it's a new Broadcom 7425, and the chip is just revamped from the current one that we have in the original hopper, and essentially it's twice as fast, so the processing power is much quicker. So when you scroll through the guide and you know do your everyday things, it's going that much quicker. And the original hopper was already fast, but now we're talking real fast. Now I understand, and I know the, the, the forums have already been discussing this, that the original hopper cannot do the transfer because of CPU speed. That's why the CPU double speed in here is able to do the transfer function. Is that correct? To an extent. Um, a big piece of that is just the chipset that we're using that actually has a sling capability within it uh, that allows us to do the transferring capability. So it's a little magic here and there, but yeah, partially do the chip. Anything else you want to show us about the, the new unit? Uh, well, at this uh, station specifically, we're showing the headphones on the side because another cool new feature that we have is Bluetooth capability. So now I can actually connect two Bluetooth devices like these headphones right here, and I can actually stream. So, you know, I can be vacuuming upstairs and be listening to my Sirius radio from my family room and not be contained to that family room. And it's still the same setup where you can pair up the two devices at the same time? Exactly, exactly, yeah. So Bluetooth's a great capability and we're looking forward to more people using that. Now the other thing we haven't talked about yet is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is built yep. into this unit. Yeah, so another big feature with Hopper with Sling that's totally different from the original Hopper is built-in Wi-Fi. So no longer do you need that little USB adapter to get the Wi-Fi connection, right? Now it's just built-in, very easy setup wizard, and you're connected. Now, is it officially supported yet or not officially supported yet, where if a person takes their Joey, plugs in a compatible USB Wi-Fi adapter, have a wireless Joey box, is that officially supported yet or is that something you guys are still working on? I can't quite speak to that fully yet, but uh, something that you know we look forward to talking about further in the future. I know, I know a bunch of satellite guys actually 
discovered that accidentally. They were screwing around with it and found out it works <laughs> and, and uh, a long time ago and it was it was kind of neat to see everybody doing it. And uh, in some houses it works great. Other houses it depends on your house. Some it's made of steel, some made of wood. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, so if you're a satellite guy who likes to tinker, don't call tech support if it doesn't work, but give it a try if you want to see how it works. That's all I can say about that one. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, the, the hopper with sling technology. Uh, on this device here, you see they do have the over-the-air tuner on it as well, which was just introduced uh, back in November. Yep. And uh, he's going to go up in the guide there. You can see all the, all the yellow there. Over-the-air channels. Is that? And uh, that's basically it for 2013, but it's a big it because everybody's really excited about the new hopper with sling. So thanks yep. for showing it to us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys.